Good day. Please excuse us. Oh, Grant, is it you? Yes, but wait a moment. Watson, it's been years. Since the Faculty of Medicine, if my memory serves me right. Yes, we were young and ambitious. <laughs> I didn't expect to find you here. I thought you had gone to America. No. I find that I prefer the filth here, amputating gangrenous legs. Ah. <laughs> I'm joking, Watson. Unfortunately, I was unable to leave for Washington. I had to give up surgery. So instead, I crouched down in this rat hole, rubbing shoulders with the world's misery. Grant, treating those in need is a noble calling. You underestimate the importance of your work. If you say so. It's true that in the beginning I felt as you do, but as time goes by, the more this cursed area seems like hell. You think that nothing can get worse, and the next day you see that it can. Now famine has hit these poor wretches. One can't always do as one might prefer when one is a doctor. Grant, I'd like to introduce you to Sherlock Holmes. Pleased to meet you. Well, no one comes here by chance, therefore I imagine that you need something in particular. How can I help you? Dr. Grant, we are in possession of a scalpel which was found in an unusual location. Does it come from your dispensary, as we believe? From its mark, I'd say it was stolen from us. A lot of things disappear from here, you understand? Life is hard in Whitechapel. When the staff find a way of adding to their salary, they rarely hesitate to do so. Thank you, Doctor. Tell me, Doctor, do you have a morgue in your dispensary? Yes, it is the busiest place in the building. We would like to see it. The door at the far end, the one with the unpleasant smell. Very good. Farewell, Doctor. See you soon, perhaps, and take care of yourself. Look, Holmes, a list of the recently dead. How sad. Hmm, I see names that have something in common. I understand now why my colleague keeps quiet about his morgue. This place is a real mess. Concentrate, Watson. We must look for clues about Grape Ape's friends. of the instruments. They've probably never been cleaned. This is Kurtz's overall, so he really does work at the morgue. Strange that he left his overall here. Holmes, this is Kurtz. We've just found one of the Bishop of Knightsbridge's murderers. I need something. I need something. Two keys. I need something. A small metal stem. Well, well. This Kurtz was carrying a lot of things. I need something. Perfect.
perfect. It's open. Here, this hut is on the map. Let us search it from top to bottom, Watson. Oh, what a jumble. How is it that there is no room in this cemetery? Impossible to open it. Bags filled with nails. There are a lot of them. Well, really. I can see a large crack. I'll need something thin. A hole was drilled a short while ago. There is a sack inside this hole. Let us see what is inside it. Valuable objects, but what are they doing here? We are making headway. How do we know what this means? This message confirms that we are on the right track. Here is our tree. Let us examine the inscriptions. Sally and John. This design was the last to be done. Sally and John is engraved here as a symbol of their love. Nothing of interest here. Yes, it must be there. I need something. This shovel belongs to the cemetery workers. You frighten me, Holmes. This must be the grave. Dig quickly, Watson. Very well, Holmes. Look, a metal box. The lock on this box is rather sophisticated. This box comes from a bank. The criminals must have held on to it after a hold-up.
There we are. It is simplicity itself. This key must be important to be hidden here. A hammer covered in blood. Holmes, there is someone in that hut. I saw Watson. Come and keep your revolver at the ready just in case. These candlesticks are undoubtedly stolen. Open up. We're not the police. Do not be alarmed. That's a strange way of reassuring someone. Holmes, they are children. My God, one of them is hurt. What do you want? Don't come any closer. Are you the police? Don't be afraid. I am a doctor. I'm going to look at your friend's wound. Wait, Watson. I've got some questions to ask these children. This is urgent, Holmes. In this filthy place, the risk of infection is very high, and the wound could get worse with every second lost. The immediate danger for these children is not so much the wound as Mr. Fletcher. Who? Look at the wound, Watson. It's thin and precise. It was made by a sharp, well-kept blade. Any other blade, less well-kept, would have torn the tissue around it, and its size would be irregular. So what does that imply? In this area, who would take such great care with a blade? A butcher, of course. And the only butcher in the area is Samuel Fletcher, who at this moment is replacing a window that has been forced open. He's a man to hold grudges, as anyone around here will tell you. The children are in danger. A man as skillful with a knife as a butcher, and with a bad reputation to match, could easily strike a fatal blow by cutting the child's jugular. If he hasn't done it, it's surely because these little thieves broke into his shop at night to steal a piece of meat. The poor lighting in this area saved them. I can assure you that Mr. Fletcher has spent the day trying to trace these children, and if he finds them, wounds will be the least of their problems. That's... that's true. What do you want? Don't let the butcher find us. Dr. Watson will see to your wound, but the treatment won't be free. I don't need to remind you that life is hard, you know that already. Give me the address of a certain Kurtz, and the doctor will dress your wound. No address, no treatment. I... I can't tell you, mister. Kurtz is a dangerous madman. Holmes, you go too far. You have frightened the poor child. I could give Mr. Fletcher a compensation for the damage to his property, and he would certainly give up trying to find you then. But for that, you'll have to cooperate. Or else? Or else he'll likely find a less agreeable way of repairing the damage. Wait, mister. I know everyone here. I'll help you. Only protect us from the butcher. I am looking for Kurtz. Tell me where I can find him, and I'll smooth things over with Mr. Fletcher. Everyone here knows Kurtz. He's the worst person in the area. We call him the Colonel because he fought against the Zulus in Africa. He got chucked out of the army because he's completely crackers. He lives at number eight, Betty Street. Good. Watson, see to the wound. Then we will settle the problem between these young men and Mr. Fletcher. We must protect these children from that butcher, Holmes. It won't be necessary. I've had dealings with Sam before now, he's not the monster I've made him out to be. If he had wanted to kill them, he would have done so, even in dim light. By wounding the little thief, he wanted to warn him never to set foot in his shop again. Forget Mr. Fletcher, Watson. You... you mean you lied to frighten those poor children? Exactly. Clever, wasn't it? 